So you guys probably remembered that I created a bot and I even made something cool as well a way to automatically run the script so I only have to write here poloniex.bat and it starts the script right away I press enter it changed my python to python 3.7 because it's standard at 2.7 I guess and I wrote that in a .bat script let's show you that script I have placed it on my C drive in my newly folder python home as you can see I have different pythons installed and in my python home I have all kinds of of small bat files. I wrote these bat files. These are actions for command. I only have to write, as you can see up here, polenix.bat, and that works because in my path, is this folder cw.python.home so whenever I am in command prompt I can just write any of these files and because it is in my path it would start this script let me grab this poloniex.bat file this is in the script I have echo off echo means showing whatever is in the script here in this command window I don't want that echo means just show this this, this line is telling the user you see in the screen it says settings python home then I said set the python home to c python free and you're like oh, what the hell is this this Python home in the environmental variables I've created a Python home and as you can see Python home is set to C double dash Python 27 and in the path I have Python home here you see and Python home script so this Python home here actually is this Python home over there which now is C double dash slash Python 27 so what I set up here in the script is set Python home now to C double dash slash Python 37 so it changed the Python. Then it says the set path equals Python home. So it's again the variable Python home and then Python home slash script. And then after that, as you see, it opens CD user my folder that we just opened and it starts Python all, kind, all coins in BTC and it makes it 10 millibits for all the different coins. And it is still working my list over here. As you can see, they're all around 10 again. Some are very nice 10.000, you see? Very nice. I've been away for four months on YouTube. What the hell was this guy doing this entire time? Were you lazy? Weren't you doing anything at all? But I assure you, I've been doing some stuff. It was Bitcoin related and you might be interested in it. Let me stop mining my fart coins. Set generate false. Set generate means start mining. Do you want to mine? Is it true or is it false? And if you say true one, then it means using one core of your CPU and it can go up to, well, I have six cores, so I can put six. And if I don't put any number, it will automatically choose six. But I want to set it at false because I'm recording my screen as well. So you guys might be wondering what I've been doing this entire time. I stopped uploading in December on YouTube. And the reason why was because I started working again on the Fartcoin project. So some of you might not know what it is, but it is a coin I created to understand more about Bitcoin. So it is a Bitcoin derivative. To be correct, it is a doggy coin derivative, but doggy coin is a Bitcoin derivative. They look so much alike. They're just a copy and a lot of changes. It's not like Ethereum, which is totally different. This website here, fartcoinproject.com, is being run on my laptop over there. So I have a laptop over there, which is 24 seven on. It is the fartcoin server at the moment. And it runs this website. So I figured out how can I, even make a website on my own PC and run it from my PC as a server. And I've been working on the block explorer for the Fartcoin blockchain. So these are all the mined blocks we can see here. Here you can see what's inside the blocks. You can check transactions. You can track the amount of reward you get for a mined block. And I've created Meme Exchange, which is the exchange platform built to be able to transact coins. And I couldn't put this coin on a trading website. They want money if you want your coin on that website. I don't have that money. This is the exchange. Once you are logged in, you can go here to your wallet and you can deposit or withdraw it. It is still under construction, but yeah, that's what I've been working on. And to prove it, I can show you guys my GitHub. So this is the GitHub, the Fartcoin project. And in the Fartcoin project are the source codes of the projects that I'm working on. And as you can see here, I stopped uploading in December. Remember, that was the last video. And from December until this month, I've been working a lot on the Fartcoin project. As you can see here, these dots here are all contributions to the website, all uploads. So the darker the green, the more upload you did that day. If there is a day there was no upload, that does not necessarily mean I didn't work on the project. It just means that I did not upload parts of the project on that day to the GitHub website. But as you can see, I've been working on several projects. So the Block Explorer, because I thought we needed a Block Explorer for the Fartcoin, and I wanted to have an exchange platform. So I created that. Uh, I'm working on a mining pool. So 
been struggling for in the last couple of months was getting myself a Mac wallet for Farcoin project and I was very frustrated and there was even a time that I thought I'm gonna quit it I'm not gonna do this anymore and the most funny part is I, I, I told everybody I'm stopping this stupid project I can't get this wallet to work and the next day somehow magically I got the wallet to work so if you want to for fun test out this wallet you can find it here at the Fartcoin project just press releases and here are the two programs the Windows version and the Mac version so you might be interested in that so you can see here this is the official release these are Sean and Dennis these are two characters Serge and I Serge is that guy that was on my live stream when we were making the Bitcoin musics we are going to try and build some music with the Bitcoin graph you know because it was the biggest pump and dump ever that one right here. <laughs> it's kind of okay it is I don't know if you saw it, if you didn't, go check it out. We've been trying to make music out of the Bitcoin graph. We created a small cartoon just to figure out how to make cartoons and these are the characters of that cartoon and it's called Space Police. Well, it's kids like you that always need to find their destiny and develop a unique identity. And what's so wrong about that? I previously had the Rick and Morty theme on my wallet, but Rick and Morty is trademarked to someone else. It's not my project. I got a lot of friends asking me, do you think it's smart that you're using Rick and Morty? And I was like, no, but it's just for fun. So I'm not serious about releasing it. So how can I save myself from that situation? Just make sure you own the rights to everything that you make. So make sure everything is A, open source, or B, created by yourself. So that's what I did. I've built a virtual machine which runs the Mavericks version of Mac. I've tried so many. I've tried Mac 10.6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and even 14. Move my Mac over here. So I compiled it on Mac as well. So I needed to have a working Mac and I needed to have different versions of Mac to test the compiled version of the wallet. So as you guys can see here in my screen, it's the Mavericks Mac, it's an older version of Mac. I did use this Mac to compile the wallets that can be run on different versions of Mac. Let me just download the latest version. So let's go to Fartcoin project, to the Fartcoin, to our release, and let's download the Mac setup. We have downloaded it, it's now here, the Fartcoin setup. Well, so just like any Mac, you drag and drop. Are you sure you want to open it? Yeah, and I'm quite sure that it works because I created it myself. Do you want it? Yes, allow it. And it is synchronizing with the network. Pretty awesome, right? That's it, that's what I've been working on. Very interesting. I just wanted to show you guys this stuff. I hope you guys did enjoy this, oh, let's call it a vlog again. I'm very thankful that you guys are here again. If you are new to my channel and this magically is the first video you have ever seen of my channel, it would be so awesome if you would subscribe to my channel because I make these kinds of videos and tutorials every once in a while and I hope you will enjoy it. And if you did enjoy it, let me know it by giving it a, not this one, but this one, you know? <laughs> and as always, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Have, have any of you guys ever played on this console, this, this Commodore 64? I never owned this one, but when I was a kid, all the kids had different consoles. So I was the owner of a Super Nintendo, I had a friend who was the owner of the normal Nintendo, and another friend who had the Sega Genesis Master version, and then I had a friend with the Commodore. And which games were also on the Commodore? I can't remember, it was such a long time ago, I was such a small child. But, yes, Commodore.